when it comes to the, defin the difference between personal and political, I'll give you an example of where I think that, for example, there's a gap. So on the issue of transgenderism, I've been very outspoken. I think that a, a biological man is a biological man. I think a biological woman is a biological woman. There are people who are intersex, but that does not obviate the categories of male and female. I do not think that a man can become a woman or a woman can become a man. Uh, and if a man wants to identify as a woman, I think that that is factually incorrect. Uh, my, my view of that is that that's a mental disorder. Now, if I'm at dinner with a person who is transgender, I will call them by their preferred pronoun because what's the point in offending the person? The person's still a person. I wouldn't go out of my way to insult somebody who I'm at dinner with. But if I'm speaking publicly about Caitlyn Jenner, for example, I will say that Caitlyn Jenner is a man and I will call him by his biological pronouns. The reason for that is because in the dinner situation, my target audience is the person with whom I'm speaking. That's the person with whom I'm forming a relationship. Mm -hmm. In the political world, the target audience is not Caitlyn Jenner. I'm not speaking to Caitlyn Jenner. I'm speaking to the audience writ large about a scientific issue that has some ramifications for, for public policy. I'm not sure how to bridge that gap when people suggest that we ought to discuss public policy as though it were personal. We should, uh, we, we should pretend that scientific facts don't exist in order to not offend, for example. Well, I think what you're talking about is the difference between being genuine and being brutally honest. There is a time and a place for everything, and the time and the place for you to air your scientific-based political agenda doesn't have to be at dinner. I mean, there's a time where that fits and there's a time where you're in that mode and you can say what you want, but is that appropriate um, at dinner? Uh, and if you feel uncomfortable with not being consistent with your scientific belief, then don't get in that situation. But it's kind of like my wife tells me at home, don't you doctor feel me. <laughs> she, she, you, you do that at home, don't you? You do that <laughs> up there, experience. don't you do that here?